Hey animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful MyMator tips within 5 minutes. So I get a lot of basic questions that are kind of hard to answer in the YouTube comment section, so enjoy this next video about Glow. What is Glow? Glow is a new feature that was added in MyMator 1.2.0 and it's accessible in the graphics tab right here. Most commonly used on surfaces, you can get it by selecting your object and turning on Glow. Now you won't see the difference unless you enter HD render mode, then you can see your object is now glowing. This works with surfaces, characters, items, blocks, special blocks, individual body parts, shapes, and sceneries as a whole. It pretty much works on anything visible in the scene. And here's everything you can do to tweak your glow. If you open up your settings up here, you go to render, you have this glow option right here. You can change the glow radius, which will also apply if the camera is far away. So a radius 100 might look good here, but if you move your camera away, it doesn't look as okay. And of course, the overall intensity of the glow. You can also turn on glow fall off. And if I simplify it as much as possible, imagine like a duplicate of your glow, which you can tweak individually. So the fall off radius, and of course the fall off intensity. Quick note, the fallout usually stays within the limits of your original glow. So if your glow is set to zero, the fall off cannot go above that. So the glow is the higher limit and the fall off is, us is usually on the inside of the glow. It's just so you can have another layer of detail. However, if you select the character, you have a bunch of options here as well. You have this option glow affected by texture, so you can either have a glowing texture or a glow simply as a color, whatever you like more. Here's an option to only render glow. This will hide the original character and only render the glow. One more thing, in your color tab there is a new glow color option. By messing with this you will change the color of your glow. If you don't like the intensity of your glow, you can bring the color down to make it less intense. What is very interesting about Glow though, is it also works on textures. If I import a surface, give it a texture, and if I make this glow, you can see the texture is preserved, the texture is glowing. This comes in handy if you use it with certain light textures. Let's try this gradient. Boom! Instant light ray. Now, I obviously don't have enough time to make more examples, so I will answer the most related question in my comment section. How to make Herobrine glowing eyes effect. Take your Steve, import a surface, lock the surface onto his head, position and scale the surface over his eyes, duplicate it, move it across the other eye, and I'll simply make him glow. If you want to go next level, you can add another surface, give it a specular texture, I'll put the link in the description to all my light textures, lock that on his head, position it, scale it, make it glow, only render glow, bring the color down to as much as you want, and you have yourself Herobrine. Now that is all for me today, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. That is what I have for you about the glow feature. Now good luck animating, see you next time, and until then, stay sharp.